Hi everyone! Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about a special anti-aircraft weapon system designed by the Russian military. Yes, you guessed it right, the S-400 system. What is S-400? Let's start by giving you a brief history. The S-400 Triumph, previously called the S-300 PMU-3, is an anti-aircraft weapon system developed by Russia's Alma Central Design Bureau as an upgrade of the S-300 family. Now, it is important to note that the S-400 was solely used by the Russian Armed Forces until 2014, when China purchased the S-400 through a diplomatic government agreement. But since then, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, India, and Belarus have either acquired or showed strong interest in getting the S-400 for their own militaries. This should come as no surprise, as The Economist once described the S-400 as one of the best air defense systems in existence. How successful was the development of the S-400 system? While the development of the S-400 started in the 1980s, it was officially announced in January 1993, with successful tests conducted on the 12th of February 1999. As a result of these initial positive tests, the S-400 was due to be deployed by the Army in 2001. But when engineers noticed the system had some flaws that needed to be straightened out, they decided to postpone. In February 2004, the systems were finally determined to be completed and the successful interception of a ballistic missile as part of a test of the upgraded 48N6DM missile showed critics that the S-400 was finally ready to roll. But further delays slowed down the project. Then at last, in 2007, the S-400 was finally approved for service along with the 40N6 long-range missile with the possibility of the S-400 Triumph and Pantsir missile system being integrated into a two-layer defense system. What are the four new missiles that were added to system? The S-400 missile system uses four new missile types in addition to the missiles of the S-300 PMU system. The first missile inducted for the system was the 48N6DM with a powerful propulsion system. The missile can destroy airborne targets within a range of 250 kilometers. The second and third missiles respectively are 9M96E and 9M96E2 medium-range ground-to-air missiles. Designed for direct impact, the missiles can strike fast-moving targets such as fighter aircrafts with a high accuracy. The maximum range of both missiles is 120 kilometers. The fourth edition is the 40N6 missile, which is claimed to have a range of 400 kilometers and uses active radar to intercept air targets at great distances. So, how do these S-400 vehicles operate in coordination? Well, the 55K6E command and control system of the S-400 Triumph is based on the Euro 532301 mobile command post vehicle. The fact that the command post is equipped with LCD consoles means that it can process the airspace surveillance data of the individual batteries, as well as control and monitor long-range surveillance radar track airborne threats, prioritize those threats, and coordinate with other batteries too. As a bonus, the system can also exchange data with other defense systems such as SA-12, SA-23, and S-300. What is the most important component in S-400 system? Definitely the radar. This is because the fire control and target tracking radar of the S-400 makes use of the 92N6E, which is based on the MZKT-7930 8x8 vehicle. 
The 96L6 Cheeseboard 3D Surveillance and Tracking Radar is optionally carried by the same vehicle when the S400 battery is deployed autonomously. The radar can detect and track aircrafts, rotocrafts, cruise missiles, guided missiles, drones, and ballistic rockets with a distance of 600 kilometers and can simultaneously track up to 300 targets, which is really mind-blowing when you think about it. Which countries are interested in buying a Russian missile system? Despite the threat of sanctions by the US, countries like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Algeria, Morocco, Egypt, Vietnam, and Iraq are keen to get their hands on the S-400. However, the US expects that a handful of countries will fall to diplomatic pressure. China, India, and Turkey have already signed purchase agreements with the Kremlin, and China is on its way to receiving the final shipment of the S-400 system, while India and the NATO ally Turkey also receive S-400 system in their defense. Why S-400 is selling more than the American Patriot or THAAD systems? Well, it's simple. Buying weapons from the US government is complicated and stressful. On the other hand, making provisions to buy the S-400 is pretty straightforward, with less export restrictions and less regulation by the Kremlin. In addition to this, Russian weapons are known to be cheaper and do not come attached with extensive maintenance support. Why US is afraid of S-400 system? This is an important question. It's just competition between the business of military-industrial complex. In my opinion, the S-400 remains a strong deterrent because of the U.S.'s unwillingness to lose a single jet. If it came to a World War II-style conventional battle between U.S. and Russia, where both sides go all out, all the S-400 would do is shoot down one or two more jets than an S-200 or S-300 before being destroyed. American air superiority will be eliminated. Although Russian weapons exports were impacted by sanctions between 2014 and 2018, Russian weaponry still accounted for 58% of the South Asian market during that period. Moreover, Turkey officially confirmed the fears of its NATO allies that it had carried out testing of its controversial Russian-made S-400 missile defense system. The main concern of the NATO allies is that the S-400 could be used to gather sensitive intelligence via systems linked to the F-35 stealth fighter, the next generation warplane of the alliance. But Turkey has vowed to protect its borders despite US sanctions. Now, let's talk about the money. The cheapest package you can get for this is a rocket battalion, which will cost you just over 500 million US dollars. Don't worry though, the package comes with 8 rocket launchers, radar and military grade sensors, the targeting computers, the communication equipment, the trucks and other vehicles, and of course, 112 rockets. But remember that if you run out of rockets, each additional one will cost you $1 million. If this seems too expensive, remember that a single American Patriot battery costs $1 billion, roughly twice as expensive as the S-400, and the THAAD battery costs even more at about $3 billion, roughly six times more than the S-400. But the story is not finished yet. <laughs> Yes, we are talking about the S-500 missile system. The S-500 Promedy, also known as 55R6M, Triumphator M. The S-500 is under development by the Almaz Ante Air Defense Concern. It's expected 2021 for first delivery. The S-500s will work in parallel with the S-400s and are planned to together replace the S-300 missile systems. 
They are going to be deployed around the Moscow and Central Russia areas to intercept and destroy intercontinental ballistic missiles, as well as hypersonic cruise missiles and aircrafts for air defense against stealth aircraft. This defense system will have a proposed range of 600 kilometers for the anti-ballistic missile and 500 kilometers for air defense. And it has been demonstrated to be able to detect and destruct upwards of 10 ballistic targets at speeds of up to 18,000 kilometers per hour to a limit of 25,000 kilometers per hour with a mind-blowing response time of less than 4 seconds. This is even more impressive if you remember that the S-400s have a response time of less than 10 seconds. Scary, isn't it?